Yeah, around about the time the killer started, I guess, is where the man harkens back to. I can live with it, you know. <laughs> but it's uh, it was it was nice to sort of go in and and inhabit that character and that figure and that version of myself for for a song. I think a l I think you know a good chunk of this album is making peace with that. Um, I've been cleaning it up for a long time. I feel like I didn't. I don't think that was a really a great representation, an honest representation of who I am. And um, I was just really. I was. It came from a place of insecurity, and I just would puff my chest out and say things, and put neg a lot of negativity out there. And um, I basically came to regret that. And I don't know. You know, it's. I'm sure I'm, not, I'm sure a lot of people can identify with that. I don't know. Wonderful, wonderful. I heard it. I always keep my phone with me, you know, and I, and I just in case you never know when uh, this lightning's going to strike or you're going to think of something. And I just was in the desert, and there was a storm coming, and I thought, wonderful, wonderful, and um, I was able to <clears throat> use it in a song that I wrote with Mark, our bass player, and it ended up being a you know an important part of the record but I mean it's there's more to it there's a lot there's a lot to the song but we'll get there later I guess in a review or something I'm looking in the mirror on this record and uh, focusing a lot on uh, my own personal experiences and instead of just drawing upon those experiences and maybe using them in other songs I'm I'm just I'm going st straight for it uh, with this, and I'm singing about my life and my family, and um, and that's something different for me. Uh, what I like about it is the songs that I love to perform the most are songs that that sort of went into that territory and connected with people. Like, um, even Mr. Brightside was very was a personal song. Read my mind. These songs that uh, that I love to perform tend to come from those real places, and so I really wanted to do more of that on this record. This is the more um, tender and, uh, so I guess that would be it, the more tender side. I'm more bare than I've ever been. It's taken some risks, and, and I don't know what a band should sound like in 2017. I mean, we're kind of post-rock and roll right now, and people are experimenting with all kinds of different things. And Jackknife Lee, our producer that we chose, is a very much from that, you know, from that mind set, and he was great in the studio. It, it's hard to sort of like sum it up quickly, but um, you know when you've sort of, I've said this before, but you know when you've arrived at a place that's just um, a bit uncomfortable, and when you're there, I think that's when you sort of know, when you still question it but it's in, in the right direction and you know it's not too sweet or too uh, um, like you've heard it before or something like that uh, too familiar sounding when it's just on the you kind of feel the right side of uncomfortable if that makes any sense I think we were a little bit aimless um, on Battleborn we were searching you're not always going to find it. You know, we're always trying, but you're not always going to touch what you're reaching for. And we didn't quite get there. I don't feel I don't feel like, you know, that I, that doesn't I don't I don't mean to cheap, you know, take anything away from it. I, there are songs on it that I love. But just as a whole, I just wasn't very happy with it. And uh this record is just different. Uh this, there's a a direction and and I think we got there and I hope that people recognize that and feel that I hope we still have two and a half months till it's out I think every record in a way feels like you want another shot of it you know you, or a shot at it you want to sort of um, you know redo things or you don't like the way things sound or that lyric wasn't you know the best lyric you know just like you just want another chance of redoing it like not all the songs are are perfect um, Amazingly, this one sounds less, has less of that sort of, give me another shot at uh, redemption here. It's, it feels very, um, 
you know, feels good, I guess, in a way. Different recording techniques, um, different ways of writing. Um, we used computers a lot more than we've ever used. We've always, in the past, even though we employ synthesizers and things like that, we've always been really precious about uh, uh, maybe a, a more sort of organic approach to, to recording. And this this time we weren't as, weren't as precious with that. It actually ended up being more organic. We recorded with uh, ghetto blasters and stuff, you know what I mean? Those little boom boxes. We call them ghetto blasters in Vegas. Um, and uh, it was just a, a, a lot more experimentation going on. So there was this kind of, we threw a lot of things at the, a lot of darts at the, at the map and sort of arrived at where we arrived.